Good morning, my friends. It is Saturday morning around 6 a.m. I'm getting some coffee in me before heading off to the gym. Um, I am so happy to be filming. I am filming this vlog this weekend. If it turns out to be interesting, I'll definitely upload and edit it. And then I'm filming a new bullet journal video today, um, a Q&A, and then I have another one that I'm going to keep as a little surprise. And then I have to go and visit a friend and yeah, just some errands to do and stuff like that. And we'll see how this vlog turns out. I don't know. But uh, right now I'm going to just drink some coffee and uh, then get ready to go to the gym. Alrighty. I look very tired because I am. Alright, so I'm ready to go to the gym. And before I go, I want to share a pair of socks I've been using for running and working out. They're called Balegas. Um, and they're just like a little, it's a very short sock. You still see it over your shoe, but they keep your feet really dry. They're super comfortable. I just love them. I got about 10 or 12 pairs of them and they're fantastic. Lastly, I want to share a pair of shoes off of Nike ID that I had made and I love them. And they say, be kind. So I'm going to throw my shoes on and then we're heading off to the gym. So I got my Swell Bottle, which is a new one, and it is like this really cool teal wood grain. I got my Swell Bottle, got my gym bag. We are ready to go. Hi, love bug. Hi. Hi, love bug. Come here. Come see me. Come see me. Come see me, love buggers. Hi. Did you just wake up? I know. I left you so early. I left you so early. We were still in bed. Hi, I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Where's daddy at? Where's daddy? Is he upstairs? Is he upstairs? Is daddy upstairs? Oh, you go get him. You go get him. You go get him. Go wake him up. So uh, apparently Bubba's is up, but Steven is not. You can see how hard I worked out today because I'm a sweaty mess. So I'm gonna go hop in the shower and then get that bullet journal filmed, so. So gang, this is what it looks like behind the scenes when I'm getting ready to shoot a video. Um, I am fallen in love with bullet journaling. It is like, I love it. I love everything about it. So I'm gonna get filming uh, and then run off and see my friend. So better get going. But it's cool to see what happens behind the scenes of a YouTube channel. All right, gonna get rolling. So it has already been a crazy productive morning. I have worked out, I have filmed the entire bullet journal video, and now I'm going to run and see my friend this morning, and well, my best friend, and her baby. I am not gonna film that because I wanna definitely respect her privacy, um, but I love being an uncle pretty much, uh, and I cannot wait to go spend time with them. I am gonna go pick her up a little gift though, because she's a new mom, and it's Mother's Day weekend. So, uh, yeah, let's go see what I can find. Keeping it super simple today, not carrying a bag or anything, but I do have my Chanel card holder. I like this card holder because bills, oh, let me zoom out a little bit, because bills actually fit in it. Steven's laugh. Steven's laughing at me because he sees me talking to the camera. You're such a jerk. Um... He, I didn't see him standing there and he's like just laughing. But um, he's just jealous because I'm so cool. But uh, yeah, so running to Target, going to pick up something for my best friend for Mother's Day. I'm just gonna basically grab her like some masks, maybe some nail polishes, some magazines, a book, a movie, uh, just something for her to really relax with um, because she's a new mom and that ain't easy. I'm telling you, being a mom is the hardest job on the planet. And the thing is, nobody thanks you for doing it because 
you have to take care of your child. So I feel like it's one of the hardest jobs in the world that goes to become the most thankless job. So shout out to all you moms out there this weekend who sacrifice without people even recognizing it, who have to work even when you're so tired and just thank you because you're, you, you're remarkable. You're truly remarkable. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing for my mom this weekend, uh, I actually had a long conversation with her and was going to surprise drive to Ohio last night and just show up at their door at 1130, but I couldn't get a hold of them. So I started to get like real nervous, like should I drive this seven hour drive? Called my sister, she was like, I don't know what they're up to either. Um, and here my dad ended up taking my mom away for the weekend. If I would have drove seven hours to find that my parents were not there, I would have been very upset. But um, I talked to my mom and she told me just to hold on to her gift because her and my dad are coming to our home for Memorial Day, which I am going to vlog that weekend. And I'm also going to really work hard to convince her to do a what's in my bag video with me. And her and I will both go through our bags and uh, I think hers will be funny and we'll ask her where she got stuff and all of that. So um, yeah, that's uh, what's going on for Mother's Day for me. Oh my goodness, you guys, last night, Anne of Green Gables released on Netflix. It's actually called Anne with an E, is what they called the series in season one released. They did take some liberties from the book that actually I believe made it a little bit more interesting and suspenseful for TV, which is good but I absolutely loved it. I've watched four episodes because once I start, I can't stop. And I cried multiple times because there were certain lines that would be said that would remind me of the times with my grandmother, but also like the acting is just really good and I was very nervous about it. But um, yeah, shout out to Anne with an E because you have done the characters and Ellen Montgomery proud because it's really good. It's really good. And I will say the filming location and the camera work is really stunning. So I am loving that currently. I also want to give a quick shout out to everyone who has written a letter to the P.O. Box. And I will tell you, I don't think I've been able to read one yet that I haven't cried because it just means so much. And I cannot believe that we're at 8,000 subscribers in five months and that we're going to probably hit 10 in no time. But I think what means the most to me is the connection that has been built between each other. So many of the cards talk about my love for my grandmother and the love for my family and the kindness and the positivity. And truly my only goal when creating this channel was to do that was to bring joy to people, to bring a little light to people, to help people feel like they have a friend when sometimes things aren't going well. Because that's what YouTube did for me when I moved to a new city. It allowed me to make friends and feel supported even though I didn't really connect with that person. And that's really my only goal and I think that's why it's been successful. Um, but besides just writing me the notes, the little hummingbirds that people are drawing on envelopes, thank you Stephanie for that one, um, adding little hummingbird stickers or just saying something that reminds me of my grandmother or tagging me on Instagram with a hummingbird picture, like you have no idea, you just have no idea what that means to me and uh, you are all just such beautiful people. I'm still waiting for the day that we get a negative comment on the channel. It has not happened yet. There has not been a single negative comment, but I'm just waiting for it um, to take a deep breath and uh, love them more, as I always tell you. I just feel like this platform has been such a blessing, and my only promise and my only commitment is that I will only use it for positivity. and information and inspiration and I hope you all stick around for it.
So I went ahead and picked up a couple things for my BFF for her first Mother's Day um, at Target. And I'm just going to quickly fill up the bag. So on the, I also got Carter some really cute pants optional onesies. They were just too cute to pass up. I'm actually going to take them off the hangers. And if she wants the hangers, I will give them to her. And then look at these pants with the numbers. I'm obsessed with them. And then also this one with the lion. Oh my God, baby stuff is the cutest. I would actually wear all of this stuff. And then I got her some magazines. Like me, she is an avid, avid reader. So I got her The Underground Railroad because you all know that is like my favorite book of all time. I got her some chocolate because what new mom doesn't need some chocolate? This really cute mug that says Mom Fuel. One of my favorite Target candles is Smoked Cashmere. It's so delicious. And she loves smoky smells as, as well. And then I got her a bunch of little masks. And now I'm just going to fill it up with some more tissue paper. These are truly the gifts that I love giving. Way more than like buying one thing. I really love like filling up a bag with just fun stuff. I just find it, it feels a little bit more personal because you have to know the person in order to fill it up with enough things. And I just really like that. I, I just, I don't know. It's just more of the less what I go for when doing gifts for good friends. That's what I love about um, the way I'm doing the giveaways from now on is just that I'm just going to share favorite things instead of like one big product. I would rather spend a lot of money on a bunch of little things that like, I know people who have common interests as me will really, really love. I hope that Amy is loving all of the stuff she got. I know it got delivered to her safely, and she said that the SJP candle is amazing. So um, I'm really, really excited about that. Also, I don't know if you guys will think I'm strange, but when I go to people's houses to visit them, I take my slippers with me. Is that weird? I don't know. I might be just a weirdo. All right, we are going to now get ready to head over to Danielle's house and spend time with her and Carter. Ah! I just finished visiting my best friend, Danielle. We had like the most amazing time. We talked for two hours. It was like the fastest two hours of my life. Um, it went far too quickly. I always get confused. Am I going east or am I going west? West. I want to go east. Yes, I want to go east. I'm really... One thing everyone should know about me is I am probably one of the worst people with directions. Um, I'm pretty, pretty terrible at it. But um, she's one of those friends that are like truly the most loyal... She's just like the most loyal friend. Like you could tell her anything. You can count on her for anything. She has been there for me in some of my toughest times. And what's great is we came into each other's lives um, right before like all the major events happened. So I was able to uh, go through her marriage and her wedding day and the birth of her child and she was there for me with the loss of my grandmother like big moments in our lives like we've been able to go through together and I think that's why the bond is so strong I also would say we're identically the same person <laughs> in a lot of ways um, but uh, yeah she's just amazing and I'm so blessed to have her in my life everyone needs that one really really good friend I don't feel like you need lots of friends you need one really really good one that you know when push comes to shove like that person will help bury the body <laughs> if you know what I mean like that one friend that like you're like could count on for anything Danielle would definitely help me bury the body but um 
Yeah, so my wish for all of you is to have that one really good friend. Don't worry about having a lot, especially if you're young. Do not worry about making tons of friends when you're in college or high school. Focus on making really good friends and always go quality over quantity because it will serve you so well. So it is five o'clock in the evening on a Saturday night and Steven and I are getting ready to head off for dinner because we are like old people and we need to eat dinner at 5.30 um, so that we can get home and be in bed by nine. Um, yes, that is my life. I am a big old loser. In the meantime, I want to share something. Um, a subscriber, Alexis, uh, has a company called Wear Lex, and she sent me a couple bracelets to sample, so I've been wearing them for about a good three weeks, um, and I really like them. The quality is really high, and they're really beautiful. She has a women's line and a men's line. Um, this is the bracelet I've been wearing the most. It's like all these earth tone stones. The stones are real. She can make it the size that you need it. Um, and they're just beautiful. And then the little silver bead says, wear Lex. Um, they're just awesome bracelets. And the quality is really great. There's a couple more that I actually want to get because I think they are so beautiful. Um, I will leave her website linked down below. You should definitely go check it out. Uh, really great quality, really cool designs. Um, and the packaging is also spot on. Alexis, really good job. It's really great. All right, so I'm waiting for him to get ready, and then we are going to head off for dinner. We're going to a crepe restaurant tonight. I think I've said that like three times in the video. God. It is 6.30 at night, and we are already home. Steven just took Bubba's outside, and we are going to relax and watch a movie because we are old, old people and boring. All right, gang, so I'm getting ready to try the Derma Roller for the first time. What it is is 500 little tiny pins. Is Maybe you can see them standing up. And this is the 0.5 millimeter one. And what it does is it creates little pricks and irritations to the skin that makes all the collagen want to rush to your skin to repair it because it senses that the skin has been injured. But what it also does is opens up your skin to let your serums and your facial products to get really deep and under your skin. So we are going to try it. Um, I've never tried it before, so let's see. I don't know if it'll hurt. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're gonna give it a try. So it doesn't hurt, but you definitely feel it. Now there's also a 0.3 millimeter one that, um, I can't talk because I wrinkle up my forehead. Oh God, look at my wrinkles. Embrace them. They add character. Hold on, I can't talk because <laughs> I keep wrinkling my forehead, so I'm not going to talk when I do my forehead. All right, there's also like a 0.3 millimeter if you have um, easily sensitive skin. Okay, now I'm going to go horizontally. You can see that my skin looks a little irritated. Okay, and then it also said to go diagonally. So I'm just gonna go this way. Now it really doesn't hurt, but it doesn't feel great. Now we'll go diagonally this way. And this way. This 
way. And this way. Oh, that. There's like definitely spots that are way more sensitive. A little cup of rubbing alcohol, and I'm just gonna put that in there so to clean it. Go in with the SK2 Facial Treatment Clear Lotion and just um, kind of wipe my face with that first before I go in with the facial essence. Now, when I go in with the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence, this is the one I like blot on and I concentrate it in more of my trouble zones. This is a Patera substance. Um, and I will tell you that it has significantly helped my skin. I've been using it now uh, almost a year now, and I love it. You can definitely see that my skin is like irritated. Now I'm going in with my La Mer Revitalizing Hydrating Serum. And they said when you put serums on that it feels really good. So here's hoping. Now I'm going to go in with my La Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream. F weird thing is, um, because I've used these products a lot, it definitely feels like my, my soft cream went in a lot faster. Like it didn't feel like it went as far as it normally does. Like that my skin like just soaked it in. So I'm going to add a little bit more. As you see, like my skin is definitely red, but um, I'm gonna keep trying this and let you know what I think about it. But uh, yeah, that's my first go with it. But I'm going to end this Saturday vlog right here. So I will end it like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind, kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Let's end it.